So right now I'm just at Tesla. I need a tire rotation on my Model 3. So we're getting that done. On the app, it always says estimated completion time for your repair. And on mine, it said 4.45 and it's currently 9 a.m. So I was like, fuck, like I'm gonna have to take the bus home and like the service center is way outside of the town. So that was annoying. But then I talked to the guy and he said, it's actually only gonna take about an hour. So probably should have brought my laptop or something, but we're chilling. I'm just gonna sit here and have this free coffee. I'm gonna try and have as many free coffees as I can before I leave. Update on the free coffees. Uh, we're on coffee number two. Oh, it's so chill in here. Like it's nice. Got the little waiting area. I'm in the corner. Coffee machine, Tesla. All of the Teslas up front here, these are the ones waiting to be serviced. And then they have like the ones you can test drive to the left. I just test drove the new Model 3. Really nice. Really nice. I'm like, ooh, upgrade maybe. But no, mine saw some life left in it. But it's a nice place. Thanks, Elon. It was nice. So I've been running my technology consulting business for about a year now. Going great, having a lot of fun, learning a ton every single day. However, my roots, my real roots, as most of you probably don't know, is in software development. So of course, that's what I deal with every single day, working on problems, fix fixing software, building cool stuff. And if you look at the rest of my channel, I have some nice no code, low code solutions, builds, stuff like that, right? But I've been itching for so long to build an actual SaaS product. So I've been programming, coding, whatever you want to call it for the past five, six years. Started off doing like HTML, CSS front end, just some basic stuff. Moved into like JavaScript, Python, Ruby, some other languages. Really expanded the horizons with my coding, learned a lot. And the whole time I would be on YouTube learning how to code. And I always see these people, how I scaled my SaaS to 10K, 20K, 30K a month. And of course the clickbait thumbnail got me. I clicked on the video and it was always some founder, like young guy or girl just being like, yeah, it was super easy. And they just made it sound so easy. And I knew it wasn't like, you know, nothing is as simple as people online make it sound, but that kind of created an itch that hasn't been scratched yet. So I'm very excited. And I've started working on Proxy's first software product. Now, Proxy, we build custom things and have some like more like templatized, productized solutions that we can customize for businesses a lot quicker. But then of course our custom builds take a lot longer. And I don't have anything in my arsenal that's a truly productized system. So of course, that's where this product comes in. Now I'm really nervous because I haven't actually validated my idea yet. What's the idea? You've probably been thinking. So the concept of the software is it's a prompt generator. Now there's a lot of other prompt generators out there that are online. A lot of them are really good and they're great. They speed up your workflow when you're working with ChatGPT, Claude, whatever it may be by a ton and they give you way better outputs and you don't have to spend all your time writing prompts. It's like a win-win, obviously. But I have been having a personal need where I want a prompt generator, but I also want to have like a to-do list and a bit of task management within that interface. Now I th I'm thinking about calling it Prompt X. Maybe that's, maybe that's a cheesy name, I don't know. I think it kind of sounds sick, but I have created the interface which I'm about to show you right now. So let's jump into the interface. So this is the actual interface right here. I used Material UI to create everything. So you got this like timer, you can add tasks right here. You can add comments to the tasks, delete the tasks. And we have daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. So as you can see, if I go back to daily and then to monthly, 
the task saves. So I'm using a nice backend to actually save state. If we refresh, all the tasks will be there still. So you can kind of make these goals and have them be and and be reminded of your goals every single day because the idea is that this will be a Chrome extension. So the prompt generator is right here. Very simple right now, as I've only been working on this for about three weeks so far. So if I go, I need an article on dangers of AI. It'll generate the prompt and it'll just toss that in here. Now, the idea right now is that I'm actually just using ChatGPT to do the heavy lifting. So ChatGPT is actually going to create the prompt, right? So you're an expert in generating detailed and informative articles. So it does everything right here and it creates a good little thing. Now, if I just type the word execute in, it will actually create the article. So I'm gonna walk users through how to do that on the platform, but it's very straightforward and it creates a much better article than if you were to just like toss a shit prompt in, right? Like, you know, we all know what prompt engineering is at this point. So. As you can see, that's the idea of it right now. In the paid plan, I think I'm gonna be using an API to actually control the prompt generation. You have a focus mode. So you can hear, you have soundscapes, rain, forest, ocean, you can actually focus to get some work done. So this is kind of the MVP, but I am gonna add a few more features. Two months out, or sorry, not two months, maybe four or five months out until like beta, but that's where all of you come in. So I'd love to have this be like a community initiative where maybe I make it open source. There is a GitHub repository right now and maybe we can all contribute to it. I'd love some beta testers. If you want to be a beta tester, hit me up on Instagram, LinkedIn, X, whatever, any of the platforms and let me know. I would love that. And I just would love to have this be like the first thing that I truly just build in public and have it be transparent every single step of the way so people kind of know what I'm working on and they can contribute to it and they can give suggestions so it will be tailored to exactly what the market wants, right? I want to be able to like put out a quick video, iterate, test, and then execute really quickly with this product. So I'm extreme, I'm like extremely excited to put this video out and see what happens to my extremely huge Mr. Beast-esque 470 subscribers. And I'm just, yeah, super stoked about it, but a little nervous as well. A little nervous to kind of release it and, and see what people think. But um, yeah, that's kind of it. I just wanted to tell you about this product that I'm building, talk about my first productized solution for proxy. I'm still gonna be doing stuff with clients, you know, on a regular basis and actually consulting them on their work. But this is just gonna be the little side quest. This, this is the Skyrim side quest that I'm going on. And I would love it if everyone watching this was a part of that. So I'm going to end the video here. You could definitely expect more updates on this in the future as I'm going to be super transparent with how, excuse me, how I build it and what features I add. So thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.